Um, I'm going to attempt to make a bra shoe out of a bra. Ideally you need a bra with a large cup size just because you have much more material uh, to make your shoe. The first thing you need to do is you need to cut uh, the bra into two pieces and uh, you will get a section like this. Um, this padded area is going to form um, the toe section of the shoe and then you are going to stretch it underneath the base. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to remove the underwiring. The reason that you need to have shoes if you ever got caught in a castaway situation is because um, there are lots of dangerous things you might tread on, so you could tread on a stonefish and a stonefish will kill you if you, um, if you come to contact with it. Um, if you were clambering over rocks, um, you might uh, get cuts and a wound could quickly get infected, which again um, could kill you. Uh, so it's good to have protection. Um, the underwiring you don't need for the shoes, it's really useful to make a fishing hook with and it's also um, exactly the right size to make into a can holder so you can put your can here to boil your water um, and use it in that way. You are going to use the cup section for the toe of the shoe um, so that it forms uh, the front of the shoe in that way. Um, so it's really nicely padded and it means that um, if you're clambering over rocks um, you're going to have protection underfoot. A bra has a strap which is always in two sections um, and what you need to do first of all is to divide this into two. Um, you need to make sure that the, the hoop is with the front section. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to cut it here to divide it. So you should end up with two pieces and this will actually go around like that and fix onto the front of the shoe and then the bottom of the shoe uh, is going to be stretched like that. So in order to fix it you need to thread the fabric through the loop and you should find that it hooks on and that's not going to move when you're walking. Um, so then the ankle section, you just pull that. Um, you can make the sole with anything you like. This is going to keep the sole in place. So in the finished shoe, the sole can be, uh, my character Fran uh, finds cardboard because she, um, she finds a rucksack and rucksacks have cardboard at the bottom. Usually desert islands have lots of trash that's um, that's been thrown into the sea by fishermen, so it could be an empty plastic bottle. Um, you can even use palm leaves to plait them and weave them into the base of the shoe. Um, so to form the ankle section, um, you need to make a hole just at the base where the, the, cl the clasps are. And then you simply push it through and that will form the ankle section of your shoe. 
and then you can simply put that into the buckle. If you're on the desert island for a long period of time, which is highly likely, then you can forage for beautiful shells and crab claws and use these to embellish your shoe. But the beauty of this type of shoe is you don't need a glue gun, you don't need a needle and thread, um, the straps will hold it tightly to your foot. And that's how to make a bra shoe. I need to acknowledge Joanna Lumley, the actress who um, 15 years ago was uh, cast away for a TV show called um, Girl Friday and she made cave shoes out of her bra because she found she was starting to get trench foot. Um, so that's where I got the idea from.